Hello guys, it's Damn Minigun playing some Battlefield 1 Rush. No, I haven't done one of these in a long, long time. I haven't actually done one for BF1 other than my scripted discussion videos. Well, I don't really script that much, but this is far more unscripted than that. And this, this is my boomstick. This is the new Model 900 Slug, which is pretty much the Assault's new skill cannon. And we're about to spawn in 25 seconds. Hopefully someone... No. no, we won't. I mean, we will spawn in 20 seconds, but not earlier. Well, the new DLC is just out, and I've decided not to play the map because I'm weird like that. No, really, I couldn't just find... I couldn't find the Rush server, and I really wanted to play Rush. Even though it has a freaking annoying artillery that DICE refuses to acknowledge or even fix. And I meant that the other way around. So let's use the Model 900 Slug, which is my second most favorite out after the Perino 1908. So how are the teams? Well, they've got three people that know each other. One is level 116, which probably is even more no lifer than I am. I don't know how you get 116 after what? <laughs> A few hours. <laughs> Maybe he just spam boost. Oh no, please god, it's not- oh god. It's a flanker tank with a level 110 in it. It's going to be fun. Yeah, no. Of course, open it like a freaking madness so everyone can hear you. And I didn't actually run. Ooh, oh, that double kill. That didn't deserve that. This is why I had the freaking flanker just jump on that damn thing. The flanker tank just keeps firing on the freaking objective, and it's so annoying. Leave me alone, you damn tank. Yeah, I'm not going to touch it for now. And of course, there's Mr. Sniper up there. We have lost objective Oh, our green There's someone behind me, isn't there? That's Mr. Sniper decided to come down and play. What? I'm not moving! And of course there's gas. Damn it! I hate you. And we're unbalanced. That's fun. I actually recorded one earlier, but I actually did not record it, unfortunately. And we did better than this, let's just say that. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I wanted to unlock the new SMG. Everyone seems to hate, but I quite enjoy it. But that's maybe because I'm biased. I mean, I really enjoy the low recoil, low spread kind of guns, even though they don't do much damage. Kind of reminds me of the BF4 U100 relative to that game's time to kill. That gun was like 31 round magazine, 590 RPM. Uh, the same horizontal recoil as the Hill, interestingly enough, at 0.08. And it was um, a 5 to 6 kill. Which, you know, Battlefield 4 had weapons that were 5 to 6 kill at 700 runs per minute. Like the AUG A3. Or the AEK at 900 runs per minute, but that thing was not accurate at all. Well, after the patch, anyway. But that's always what I. When everyone. I, when I see someone complaining. Well, not complaining, everyone has their opinion that BF1 is somehow more casual. I just... it boggles my mind, really. I mean, have they even played BF3? I mean, BF3 could just run around with the M16 A3 or just put a mouse macro on the identifier, which, let's face it, is what probably most people did, um, and spam that pretty 120 RPM with no consequence at all. I mean, spread makes the game more skillful, as Marble Duck, well, a YouTuber called Marble Duck, thoroughly explained so many times. 
as well as other Simtech guys on the Reddit forums. And of course, guys like X Factor just make things worse because they spread misinformation. And it's also fairly interesting. Ah, uh, your sentry is no match for. Damn it. Well, I'm no match for the Repetitor Pistol M1912. And try saying this four times fast. Defend. Defend, says Sawio. Um, let's guess what weapon shall we use. No, let's stick with this one for now. Oh, that thing. I mean, I'm complaining about my own aim. Actually, this gun sight is atrocious. I mean, dude, can you even see the sight? The I can't. I've got pretty good eyesight. Speaking of sights, I blew that head guy. What that head guy? That guy's head off, ladies and gentlemen. That's not a real sentence. That's model 900 shining right over there. No! Oh, why? Uh, come on! That's not fair, and that was Maltese, by the way. We have defused objective apples. Oh no, that was actually fair. I just realized I got killed by a limpicture. I thought that the artillery just exploded and killed me through the wall. Ah, a cavalry. Let's try and kill him. <laughs> we felt like an idiot. Well, let's actually try and play well. Actually, I, I'm a bit of a disadvantage because I'm not using my full headset. Because when I do, I actually can tell how loud I am. And that's really annoying. Especially when I'm trying to play and talk at the same time. So I agree, I'm not hearing anything from my left ear. And Mr. Flanker Tank is still there. Please help me kill him. Please, I hate that tank. Just one of the things I just wish wasn't in the game. Even though it's not really that OP, it's just annoying. But if there's there's something that really good shouldn't be in the game is the auto lock on the the melee. I mean if you can't hit your shots in close quarters, you shouldn't be able to press F and kill someone just because they have low hit points. It just feels cheesy. That being said, BF1 system is a hell of a lot better than what we had previously. Like back company to his beautiful commando knife, which instant kills from every direction with pretty much no animation, and combined with that, that game's shitty atrocious hit registration, well, it made the game a lot more frustrating than it should have. And that's not to say anything about the car Gustav. Oh look at that. Uh, let's just come over right here. Of course, you're shooting at me, and you're going to shoot over the cliff, aren't you? Of course you are. No flanker can do that. Just kill these guys. I'm not going to hit you at all. The one time I am going to do a less. Oh, I am hitting him. Uh, that's not fine. Oh, just die already. Oh no. So many guys sold it, I don't know. That should have killed him. Well that counts. Someone is down here. Nope. Not gonna happen. No no no! Open the f No! Come on! I wanted to unlock the gate. And lock the gate. Unlocking the gate would not be very helpful, would it be? Now would it? The enemy has armed objective hmm. okay, Let's take the Perino. I mean, I'm not going to do anything about the tank. Uh, this team is... I don't like saying it, I don't say it often, but this team is really unbalanced. And yes, I'm not even going to say horrible, because I'm not that kind of guy. And that phrase is overused. Oh no, go away! Why are you ruining my... Let's play video. Now what's her name? I will not forget her name. I'm not even going to pronounce that. Five Z all Luna Five. We have lost both kind of what? What kind of name is that? That's what's the bummer. 
Mummer. A mother's name, dude. What's a mummer? That reminds me. Payday World War II. I actually seen a video by Daniel on PC on of all people. You know, he since he's a battlefield YouTuber and all. And well, I didn't know about it. I actually like Payday 2 quite a lot. And making a World War II version of Payday, well, that's pretty awesome. Even though some people are upset by that. Could have used a different engine, but I'll take it. Graphics aren't anything, but I do like me some good performances. My graphics are terrible. And for the most part, it is. But I would prefer a locked one for 4 FPS at that frame rate. I mean, graphical fidelity. Do I have... No, I don't have the mortar. Yay! Two more tanks. Well, one more tank. I can shoot the wood. That's nice. No, you will not kill me today. I also like the Perino a lot. Mainly because it's accurate. And that guy has a... Everything is out to annoy me today. And that is something I was really disappointed. I actually made a, a thread about the sent not the sentry in general, I mean the LE classes in its entirety. You just cannot hear them coming. They sound like normal infantry, that's stupid. You would be upset if you can't hear a tank coming, granted the tank is less annoying, but you, at least if you can hear them coming, you can prepare, you know, a rocket gun, a bayonet, something that is actually good against them. Gas, it's a sentry. Otherwise, I really like the other classes, they make a lot of sense. They're like a cross between infantry and vehicles. And I like that, I really do. It sure beats BF4's boring weapon pickups, which is more too much a power up. Well, it's not the other classes, but let's be honest, even vehicles are power ups. But they actually require some skill, as do the elite classes. If you run around in the open with the sentry, you're going to die. If you're running with the flamethrower in the open, you're going to die. If you're running around with the trench raider, well, you're going to die anyway. I don't really know the point of that kind of class. We have a tank on our team, maybe, you know, I can kill the flanker tank. Let's ask him. Mr. Tank Hunter, kill flanker tank. Danke. Flanker tanks or flanker tank? Oh, just the same guy going on a ridiculous cruise. No wonder my friend hates tanks. Someone's bound to flank me at some point. Especially these AZ guys or whatever they're called. Nine. Nine, 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 nine. Fall back and try and well die in the flanker tank. No, why did I switch to the sidearm? At least more players will use the medic with that guy. Because I think it's the best gun in the game, and it's not. Holy hell, this guy has 18,270 ta tank kills. That's very impressive, Mr. Gera. That's actually... Well, we're going to lose this, I mean, <laughs> there's no way around that. But let's use the Liu, 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 Liu factory. Did I pick that up? Nah. Of course, yeah, I'm going to pick that up. Screw your cavalry. I have a bigger gun than... No, oh, I think the Paragon is actually bigger than this gun. Where are you, Mr. Cavalryman? You're about to make meet your maker. Nine! Limpet charge. I'll try and solo zone this. Don't care if I die or not. Oh! Frag grenade! Wins the day. 
Oh, come on. Really? I mean, look at our team, it's hilarious. <laughs> and look at their team, I mean, this has to be one of... This is, by the way, one of the disadvantages of having a squad join system. I love the squad join system, but let's be real. If no one wants to... It doesn't allow for the server to shuffle the teams. At all. And in smaller game modes like this, that is nightmarish, because you'll have one team dominating the other, because they're a group of friends and they know how to play. Whereas the other, I mean, there's not a single guy with a positive KD. That says something, and I know you're going to say, oh, KD doesn't matter in Battlefield. Yes, it does, because if you have a bad KD, it probably means you're just dying a lot and not doing much work. Especially if you're not, don't have much, actually they do have some support. I don't know you hit from here, the sight on this gun is awful. Nope. I don't- oh, I hit him. More luck than anything else. I think this gun's base part is the same as the BIR, so... Probably won't hit them from there. I'm so paranoid, they're coming from everywhere. I don't trust this team. The enemy team, let's see it. They're probably down here, that's... No, they're not. That's quite surprising. Maybe they're not here yet. Maybe I should be closer to the objective rather than running down like an idiot. The flaggers think... Oh, come on! Big bulbs dick. Shut the door in my face. Nine. This gun is so hard to aim when you you just don't, when you know you don't just quick scope with it. You actually have to aim with it. It's a pain in the ass. How did I get up there? Ah, they're actually smart. They cut the barbed wire. Oh, Mr. Cavalry man. Just get in here. You son of a bitch. Well, that was awful. Well, I guess it made for an entertaining video, I hope. What gun can we use? No, let's just use this one. It's quite good. Cool. <laughs> that just for, for no reason. My aim is horrible. They say that already. Probably. We have lost objective apples. Who is this gun's hip for? was a bit better. I, I expect it to be a bit better in the model than slug. I would take this any day over the model and slug green because it can fire two shots very quickly. And that means the potential double kill, which happens more often than you might think. I I really wish the sight was better. Just if you don't want an optical sight, just give it a buckhorn. Buckthorn, not buckhorn, what's a buckhorn? No, Mr. Automatico, your gun is old news. I have a boomstick now. Or as Doom would call it, it's Super Shotgun. Super Shotgun. No, I'm... I'm locked. Shit. Damn it, no, no. Don't fire a second grenade, you... Bloody bastard. 
Well, let's get some controversy into the video, shall we? The premium edition, oh lord, so many people complained about it and they... Here's the thing, if you've bought the product, you've invested the money in it, and you have absolutely no right to say that <laughs> you're not satisfied with the product 10 months afterwards. It just doesn't work that way. If you're mad at DICE or EA for pretty much making the game more accessible and cheaper, as you know, every single other thing on the free market does, if you, I mean, you don't expect a Samsung S7 to cost the same as it did last year, or hell, even nine months earlier. Later, or earlier, well, you, you get the point. Well, I just don't understand. I posted on the Reddit explaining this, and I got like minus eight downvotes. Really? Are, are people this upset? Are they upset that they made a bad purchase decision? Because let's face it, if you've bought premium, you've bought something that doesn't yet exist. And you've not bought something finalized. Yes, you have an indication because you you know that um, you have four DLCs and so and so weapons and so and so maps. Even though they change that anyway. So really they can change anything. Fortunately, they change it for the better. Which is pretty nice. But I don't. I just don't understand this. All this knee-jerk. That's all they are, really. Knee-jerk reactions. I, I seen a video. I think the guy is called Downward Trust. I mean, it's a six-minute video of nonsense. He just complains that he doesn't like the system because he doesn't like the feeling of being ripped off, and then proceeds for the last four minutes of the video, talking about business practices and with really no relation to Battlefield or whatever. Just talking about things he's he's done in business school or whatever he had at dance so I'm not very familiar with anything business related. Not certainly not from an academic perspective that is. So we can toss some people. Go away! Well, yeah, Premium Edition is a good addition to the game. If you think otherwise, then you're just reasoning with your balls, really. I hate making statements like this, but there's no way around it. You're just assuming, you're just being entitled. You, you think you think that a product does not go down in price after some time? Which you have never bought a single bloody thing in your life. Have you ever been to a Steam sale? Well, logged into Steam and seen the Steam sale, you can't actually physically go to the cabin and ask for Steam sales, that would be cool. Lord Gaben and his PC tribulations. It just makes no sense, really. People are just upset because they paid, what, 60, 110 with the premium pass? And this is another thing. I. By the way, I'm not defending DICE or anything, I hate the premium system, it splits the community. But that's not... Please, when I argue about something, I argue about something if it's objectively bad. Not because I feel that something is wrong. Arguing from a subjective moral standpoint is silly. We have diffused objective butter. And there's no moralism for it, it's just you being an idiot and accept... and. Assuming the company is going to pay for your mistakes, which <laughs> of course is not going to. Let's be realistic. Though in their defense, when BF4 was terrible on launch, I actually returned the game and they gave me a refund, no questions asked, which is pretty impressive. That doesn't excuse the fact that BF4 was a piece of shit when it launched, but I saw potential and bought it later. I certainly liked it more than BF3 at least. And if Danny on PC hears me saying that, he will murder me. He loves BF3, even though I... I don't like it at all. <laughs> though in hindsight, I think Back Up, it was actually the worst game of the lot. I think so many issues that game had, and we've won, somehow. Yeah, because this part is very easy. And that's something I really wish they would address. Their rush, in general, is really good in this game. Far better than previous titles and on par with Back Company 2. Actually, better than Back Company because it doesn't have the irritating 40mm and Scar Gustav spam, as well as its stupid knife. Well, 
I lost my train of thought, damn it. Whatever. Yeah, 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 they should take a pass at Rush, especially the freaking annoying artillery system and the MCOM points on this map in particular, especially the end one and I believe the third one in the bunkers. A. I mean, I've, I should have said it's A's really, but <laughs> again, don't like those kind of statements. How long has this video gone on for? Let me check. Um, too bloody long it seems. Well, I'm going to wrap it up at that. This wasn't my best gameplay ever. But, well, I'm not very comfortable talking and playing at the same time. That being said, I really enjoyed it. And I'm probably going to upload this in 720p, so I'm sorry for you guys who are OCD about this stuff, including myself. But with a 1 megabit upload speed, well, I don't feel like uploading it across two days, let's just be honest. Or, you know, I could just go to my university and upload this, their 100 megabit, which is much better, I would might add. But I don't feel like doing that, so no. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Well, I hope you're enjoying the In the Name of the Tsar expansion pack. The weapons are excellent, I might add. But the DSC as a whole could have used some more time. It feels like a city build, if I'm honest, and I really hate saying that because there is so much pointless negativity on this city and it pains me to, to, to admit that sometimes they're right. And in this case, they're... It pains me not because I'm trying to defend EA or DICE. I mean, I would never defend a company for no reason, because they're a company and they take my money. Although they give me something great like Battlefield. Um, it's just, a lot of it is, I'm like, the, the reception to MO 2.0, really that brings to mind so much negative feedback, even from big YouTubers. I mean, Leg of the Cap in particular mentioned something, it's, it's, it's not immersive? I mean, is that your reason for not allowing grenade spam to be reduced? Because that's what MO 2.0 did, contrary to popular opinion, which... You know, they just said, uh, uh, what they say, that, that auto-regen would make grenade spam worse. It actually had a passive meter, meaning that when you die, you didn't get the grenade back. And just removing the grenade and not giving auto-regen would make grenades almost never being used. And that's not a good thing. I mean, we have regenerating health. And it works very well. I'm not. I'm not saying I want fixed health bars because that would be absolutely atrocious. But why is this? Why is that not immersive? Why is that immersive? And having a regenerating grenade is not immersive. I mean, somehow I'm carrying this thing. Look at it. It's a freaking rocket gun. And I'm carrying this thing. And I'm carrying this thing. That's not. That's not immersive, is it? Not to mention a bunch of grenades. Seem enormous. And the smoke grenades. Then I killed it again. Well, this video has gone long enough. Maybe. I don't like ranting for no reason, but this is a let's play video, so it's more of a casual kind of thing. This has been Dan Minigun from Mushroom Cloud Gaming. If you enjoyed this kind of format, please let me know. It's not the most original thing in the world, but I think I do a good job of it judging by BF4's reception and that would be actually a good way to end the video so damn it again signing off mushroom cloud gaming and all that youtuber nonsense goodbye good night and rest in pieces well that was anticlimactic one hit point i'll see you on the battlefield